All right, so I'm back, and today we are going to take a look at um, Toy World's. What the hell is his name? <laughs> Swamper. Toy World Swamper, aka Skull Cruncher. Um, as I keep saying, I have a hard time remembering what their fake names for these guys are. Um, but uh, I know what their G1 name is. <laughs> now, in the. I don't know how well this is going to come off once it's finished recording, but um, in the camera screen that I'm looking at, um, it's showing this is a really dark, bright green. But it's it's not a dark, bright green. It's like a dark. I would say muted green. Um, so, yeah. It's not it's not so uh, bright in hand. Um, he is uh, alligator or crocodile, uh, one of the two, Cybertronian version. Uh, I think crocodile, yeah, because crocodiles got the spikes. So yeah, uh, here he is in his uh, beast mode. Um, yeah, uh, you can see he's got these big cannons on the side. You take these off, set them off. Um, Joints are very stiff on mine. Um, actually, everything on here is really stiff, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, and I'll go into that in a minute. Um, but uh, but yeah, he looks uh, he looks pretty cool. I, I do like him. He's a big he's a big figure. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Um, so, posability wise in this mode, his head uh, doesn't really do anything. Um, and you can see his waist does swivel. Um, I have a problem keeping mine locked in. Um, the tail locked together. Um, it has a tendency of popping out and just kind of sliding off. Um, other than at the head, uh, it does kind of go up and down, but it really is supposed to lock in right there. Jaw does. Yeah, see there you can go there you go um the the jaw joint is tighter than the uh locker um the lockers that lock the head into place so if you move the jaw chances are you're gonna dislodge the head uh, which is a bit unfortunate but uh you can open and close it uh in here you can see he's got uh these little flamethrower bits um that just kind of Again, uh, I wish they were um, tied to the bottom jaw a little bit better because uh, when you open the jaw, it just kind of sits where it was. Um, I'm not trying to give this figure shit. I'm just pointing out things that I think should have been done differently. Uh, shoulders can go up and down, in and out. Uh, good mobility there. Uh, see, there is a knee joint right here. It's that um, foot is on a ball joint, and it looks like there's a swivel in there, but it is incredibly tight to move that. There it goes a little bit better. Um, but the ball joint on the foot does make it go around and such. Um, hips are on really tight swivels. Um, there's a swivel at the thigh. Uh, again, it's got that ankle swivel that's really tight. The ball joint is also really tight, so it does move, but it's 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 stiff. Uh, and then there's a little waist movement there. But uh, yeah, so there he is in his alligator mode. Um, if you open this piece up here, you can. He's got a little cockpit where his little rider, his headmaster rides in. And that opens and closes just fine no problems there and then we get to this guy um, so he's just a little headmaster uh, shoulders are on ball joints gets good range of motion there elbow is also on a ball joint um, so he's actually more poseable than the other guys although it's a inward cut ball joint so it's kind of the gorilla arm motif going there um, 
it's one of those it's like I don't see the point he's so small and he's either going to be riding inside of him or he's going to be the head so there's no real point to go extravagant with posability hips are on ball joints and then the knees are on ball joints um, but the knees are so tight that it keeps pulling the um, the uh, hip out of place every time I try and bend it um, and you're supposed to rotate these things around uh, for transformation and when you do it just pops it right off so yeah that's that's awesome um, so just pop that off flip them around because they're gonna pop off anyway oh wait maybe he won't oh yay it didn't pop off yay that's the first all right so you wind the arms up and you just fold them up and now he's the head set that off to the side and we'll go into transformation here uh, to start you want to unplug these legs here split these legs come down here and you want to pull this panel out like so this whole panel is just one big piece right here and there we go pull this out this will just fold up like so out, fold it up, then you can rotate the legs around. Really tight knee joints. Gets me a little concerned because they're a little too tight and they're on those kind of joints where as you bend it uh, the leg kind of folds out like this and then when you bend it back it kind of folds back in. Um, those joints never seem to last long. So, um, these pieces were like this, and you just fold these in. And then what you want to do with the feet here is you rotate uh, this around like so, and then you rotate the foot around like this, and then it just slides in like that. That'll fold the heel. Then you pull this piece here up, rotate it around, like so. Um, and then you would take this whole assembly here and you rotate it around, and then around. There's a whole bunch of joints going on here. Uh, it's got a pen going through here, swivel joint here, hinge joint here, and then a, a connector port into the foot. And then you fold this in, and this little hole right there will peg onto this peg right there. So you fold this in on itself and get that to peg in just like so. Like so. And you can close this piece up like this. And you can pull that up but that will stop the knee from moving so just plug that in like so. So do the same thing over here. So fold it down, fold this around, rotate, fold this in, pull this out, rotate, flip this in on itself, and rotate it in, and like so. Oh, no. Let's see? Um, Mine has a tendency of not wanting to stay on this little slot right here. So. There we go. And then you fold this piece in, lock it in, fold it down, fold these tail sides down, and there you have his legs done. top here and what you want to do here is uh, if you haven't unplugged plugged the uh, uh, head you want to do so now then you take the arms here and you split them like so and just kind of pull them out around slider joints here so you want to We'll slide it all the way out. And like
like so, and then you can hinge down. So, there we go. Like so, flip the hands in, or flip this little piece here down a little bit. Then you undo this side here, flip the hand out, and then it all comes together. It doesn't lock in, but it does hold pretty securely. Um, there's a peg there, and it just kind of, it holds it better than the, like the TFC guys do. Do the same thing over here. Like so. Just kind of angle these however you want to. Fold the head down and it just kind of folds in like this. And then you can just fold the alligator head up. Again, it doesn't lock in very well. Um, there is a, there's a peg right here that's supposed to peg into this little slot right here. Um, but it doesn't seem to want to really hold in there all that well. And then you take the head here, put the legs back on because they fell off, and you just peg it in, and there you go. There is Swamper in robot mode. Um, there's another way to configure him. Uh, we'll go through that real quick, then we'll go to posability. Um, but basically all you do is you rotate the head around. I'm just going to leave the leg off. For a minute. Rotate the head around. You want to un unplug these uh, alligator arms and then you plug them back in on the uh, alligator head. There's ports right here and here. So you just plug those back in over here like so. There's a lot of features with this guy that I got to go over. And then you rotate the waist around and then you unplug the arms or the fists and you plug them back in in the opposite way and now he's got more of a G1 look apparently. Um, I think it looks cool uh, like that but I do prefer the other way. Um, I don't like having to I mean, I guess if you, if you, well, no matter what you do, you have to unplug these uh, alligator legs. So that makes them into a parts former type, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of because he's not, he doesn't need to be. So um, it's cool that they threw that in there, but it's not necessary for me, I don't think. How he's supposed to be and we'll put these oh, we'll leave this off again um posability wise his head is on a swivel uh, it's very tight it does work um but as you can see every time i do it i the head gets messed up a little bit um and that's why the uh, legs keep coming off um i don't know what i'm going to do about these legs they're really loose um, so my question of the day is to anybody that already has him, or anybody that gets him, uh, is yours really loose too? Is it just me? Um, or, or what's going on there? I do really like his head sculpt. Um, it's, he looks like he's just maniacal and just having way too much fun. Um, I like that. Um, although he's got, he's supposed, he's, kind of has light piping but it doesn't really work because of the entire robot in the back um so uh shoulders can move up and down um they're on swivels there there's also a hinge in there as well so it goes in and out but it also goes in and out here um there's a swivel at the uh, bicep ratcheted elbows uh, up and down 
and it goes backwards and there's also one that goes inwards as well so that's really cool that they have both i mean not only can he do you know this bend but he can also do this bend so it's it's cool that they were able to do both elbows it's it's actually really awesome i wish more figures would do that uh hand does swivel um kind of rotates side to side a little bit uh, there's a waist swivel hips go up and down uh, in and out on these ratchets but because of the way the ratchets are designed either he's standing straight up which actually makes him less stable uh, or you ratchet it one out and he's kind of bow-legged there is no in-between uh, I wish it would just be right uh, yeah, see, I can't even get it to stop there for a second. Um, knees do bend, but like I said, they're really tight. Um, I don't like those at all. Um, swivels at the thigh. Uh, the toe is on a ball joint, so it gets a good range of motion there. Uh, heel is also it's on a hinge and a ball joint, so it gets a good range of motion there. Um, the foot doesn't like to stay pegged in very well. Okay, so we got posability down. Um, he's got guns. Um, they just plug into his hands, just like so. Uh, nothing, nothing amazing there. Uh, they they do look pretty cool though. Uh, they're like long barreled Uzis almost. Um, then you can take these uh, pieces here off and. Um, see first you can undo this and you can just have like a little dagger you plug into his hand it's just a little dagger um, then this it's really tight Let's see if I can get this out um, that doesn't want to come out So this can open up like this, and that's another knife. You can plug this back in, um, like so if you want to, or you can plug it in here if you want to. Um, yeah, and it, you know it's well, you can't really. It's got some options to it, um, but it's just a couple knives really. Um, works I guess but not not as well as I think they wanted it to work um, you, know, you got that and I think there's a way to connect these things together uh, I'm just not seeing it at the moment but uh, you could leave them connected with all the blades coming out um, it's it's not a feature I'm a huge fan of. Um, uh, I would say if you're going to use the knives, just use the little one on the side because um, that comes off a lot better. The, when these things are on, they are on very well. Um, so this goes here. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're real tight to get on there. So I would say just leave them how they are and just pull those little knives off um, if you're going to use knives. And then the last thing to show off with him is uh, these back arms, you know, they, they could swivel back here. They've got a couple hinges going on, uh, one here, here. Um, so it swivels, hinges, swivels, um, these bend. There's a hinge here and a ball joint here. But there's also, this is going to be a pain to get out, isn't it? There's also a little hand type thing going on back here that you can flip out. And then you can take uh, the little knives off and plug them into his little fake hand and then give him a gun and, and <laughs> go from there. Uh, it's goofy. Um, it works. It's a, it, it works. Um, it's kind of cool. I, I do dig it. 
Um, it's not something that I'm going to use, but it's one of those, like, they didn't have to put that in there at all, but they did, and I think it works. Um, personally, I just prefer the little pistols. Uh, I think it looks real cool in his, in his hands. All right, now let's get into uh, size comparison. Uh, here is next to the uh, Seeker Mold. I think he comes up to about mid-waist there. So he's definitely a bigger guy. Here he is next to the uh, Eye Gear Seeker. Uh, to the head, they're about the same. Although he's got a bigger head, so about the same size there. And here he is next to Hardhead. See how they stack up there and the brainstorm. Um so yeah. Uh all in all, um I do like Skull Cruncher. Um He's got some issues that I pointed out as I was going, um, and I think uh, ultimately they do hinder him a bit. Uh, the knee joints, especially um, the fact that they, it doesn't click in all the well, all that well in uh, beast mode. Um, the legs on the uh, headmaster. Um, uh, the foot coming off during transformation for the robot, uh, the knees, I know I said that, but I'll say it again, the knees, um, all in all, he's got flaws, um, but he's a fun transformer, he, he's fun to play with, um, plastic quality feels top notch, um, I, like I said, I'm a little concerned with some aspects of him, but not entirely. And Toy World does do a pretty good job. Engineering wise, he's not as well designed as his other the other two. Um, even though they tried to do a few hidden things in it uh, more than the other two did. Um, so ultimately, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, I think he's a good figure. I do recommend picking him up. Um, but when you play with him, I do say exercise caution with that. They're... There's some issues there that I think, you know, definitely needs to be um, watched after. So, um, so yeah, uh, there is Toy World's Skull Cruncher. Um, yeah, it's a good figure, but uh, exercise caution. <laughs>